So, so uh, supposedly the chat bot is going to post something for me every 15 minutes. We'll see if that actually is a thing. Every 10 minutes? Every 15 minutes, if at least 25 messages have gone by, is what What's I What's it going to say? Uh, it's going to say, is gonna there is a so anniversary event coming for? up for Hand and Labra Games, and then a link to our website. Cool. Because, hey guys, guess what? There's an anniversary coming up for Hand and Labra Games. What? Woo! What is that anniversary? No way. John Mark, why don't you tell me what the anniversary is? It is the anniversary of the initial release of Sentinels of the Multiverse. The Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game comes a video it game. came out on October 16th, 2014 for iOS and Android tablets. And so on the 16th of this year, which is basically in like two and a half weeks ish, um, we're going to be celebrating that fact with a cool event. Uh, there's some information uh, on our blog. Uh, I am going to, since it didn't post it for me, I'm going to post it once, and then hopefully as it goes on, it'll continue to post it for me. There haven't been enough messages. Yeah. <laughs> so there it is. There's the info uh, about the, what, we've, what we've said so far. There will be more info coming, because right now we're just sort of putting out a request for help, because uh, this anniversary wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for our wonderful community. Right, John? That's right. Uh, we've got a great community of fans uh, who are, you know, hopefully going to be joining in and, uh, you know, participating as guest streamers and all sorts of cool stuff. Indeed. So there's basically two or three important things to keep in mind uh, ahead of the anniversary. Number one, if you are a Twitch streamer or a YouTube streamer or I think there's one hot bot. Hotbot, Hitbot, something was another one that somebody had contacted us. If you stream our game on the interwebs, um, get in touch because we're going to be streaming the game and we're going to be letting you guys stream the game and sort of featuring you from our website all weekend long, uh, the 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th. So if you're a streamer and you want to get a slot uh, to be the official streamer for a, for a, a little bit of time, let us know. Um, you can get to it from that uh, blog post I just posted in the chat. Just go to handlelabber.com. You'll see it. The second and even cooler part of it, uh, why don't you tell us about that, Jean-Marc? Okay, well, um, so I uh, recently made some sheet music of the Sentinels theme song um, and put that on the website. And what we'd like to do is invite uh, anybody and everybody to uh, submit their own interpretations of the theme song. Um, you can play it verbatim as written on the piano, or you can be really creative and just kind of use it as a guideline. Um, whatever you'd like to do, and you can make it just audio. So, you know, send, a, send us some audio files, or you, if you're a YouTuber, you can record yourself playing it or, um, or record you and some friends playing it. And uh, we'll kind of stitch things together um, and you know, kind of feature and highlight the uh, the people that are involved in it, um, and kind of put it together as sort of a community anniversary celebration video. Indeed. And so I'm I'm really excited about this. And uh, if if there's anyone in the chat tonight that's uh, interested in it, I'd be happy to see a message saying so. <laughs> yeah, and there's information about that also at that uh, blog post that we linked to there. Um, I'm personally holding out for like a banjo arrangement. I think that that would be really cool, personally. Sort of like a bluegrass kind of sentinels, sentinels of the bluegrass, which would be pretty cool. And then the third and final thing is that, um, as you guys know, since you watch our streams, um, we tend to have some pretty cool moments on the streams that w what I call story moments, you know, where we will we'll talk through while we're playing like, oh my God, this is totally like the Wraith is like, sold her company and, and thrown all of her equipment out the window right at Grand, Grand Warlord Voss or something like that. If you have a moment from our, one of our streams or a stream that you've done or some other video that you've seen that is a cool story moment like that, something that is very Sentinels, you know, like it's, it's, it reminds you of the stories of the game, um, send us a, a link to the video and a time stamp and then explaining what the moment is because I would like to also um, put those into a, a sort of an anniversary video, sort of, you know, Talking about how the communal storytelling aspect of Sentinels is such an important piece of the game. That's that's a second video we'd like to do if we get enough. 
Um, we've already taken a couple of ours internally, but if you guys have seen one that we missed, just let us know so we can cut those all together. So anyway, so that's enough, uh, enough of that. Let's go into uh, the usual, which is to welcome you all to the Handle Library live stream of Sentinels of the Multiverse. As you all know by now, the goal of these streams is to show you how to play the game, as well as cover the strategies that can help you win. We are the developers, and so you can always be sure to get some insight into the development process, and maybe even see some stuff before anyone else. The game includes a tutorial that covers the basics, which is actually getting an update pretty soon, which will be pretty cool. Uh, but we'll always do our best to explain exactly what we're doing, when we do it, and why. And depending on how long it takes for us to win or lose, we may play more than one full game in a session. Sessions are typically about an hour and a half. Sentinels, of course, is available for iPad, Android tablets, as well as Steam. And you can get the game at sentinelsdigital.com. So tonight, as always, I'm Jeremy. We also have our illustrious uh, lead bit flipper, as he likes to know, call himself, John, uh, John. Say hi, John. Hello, I'm John. We also have our maestro, musician, and engine guy, as I like to call him, uh, Jean-Marc, who's already been talking. But say hi anyway, Jean-Marc. Hi. I'm chewing something. And we're also joined tonight by a special <laughs> guest, one of our amazing beta testers, Jake. I don't know if I'm supposed to say your last name, Jake. I should have asked you that beforehand. It's Hastings. All right. Jake Hastings is one of our great... But yeah. some call him Tim. <laughs> <laughs> one of our uh, awesome beta testers is going to join us tonight to put the game through its paces. We're playing on the... Uh, on, and not quite a public version of the beta, so it's a little bit new, not quite done, but we are rapidly approaching the moment when the uh, multiplayer is going to no longer be beta and actually just be the game. Uh, we don't have anything specific in terms of a date yet, but just know we're getting close, people. It's going to be very exciting. You'll be able to tell all your friends that you can play Sentinels with them at any time of the day or night. That's right, on iPad or Android tablet as well. Indeed. All right, so let's pop into the game here. John has got something set up for us here. Tell us a little bit about the game you have set up here, John. Yeah, so when we were at PAX uh, this fall, uh, pretty much most of the show, if you found Paul on his iPad, he would be playing this setup, uh, Advanced Akash Buddha in Silver Gulch. Uh, he was a little obsessed with it because it's a pretty tricky matchup. Uh, Akash Buddha... It's, you know, she synergizes really well with an environment that has lots of targets, which Silver Gulch does. Uh, and it also has targets that make damage, get increased, and blow up. Indeed. Uh, so it can be very, very dangerous. Yes. So and, we're going to see if we can't uh, finish off Akash Buta in Silver Gulch tonight. And one of the things that I'm thinking about doing, and this is why I picked Fnatic, is because I was playing a game in Silver Gulch the other day with Fnatic, and what's that card? The one that you can select two targets and it stops them from doing damage. Oh, <laughs> what? who knows what that what's card that could be card? called? What's that card? Man, I just... Maybe maybe it's ca called, like, No Damagey, you guys. I think it's That's called... Actually, like, I had to delete that card from the engine, sorry. I think it's called, like, Boring Defense or something like that. <laughs> I don't remember. Stop it without damage. I'm sure, I'm sure that the chat can remind me what that card is called. But that is one that I found was working really well. You just basically uh, zealously offend those um, explosive wagons, and then you've neutered them. So we'll see. Yeah, I wish it had a cool name. I know. All right. So here we are. What a lovely day, says Migrant P in the chat there. All right. So here we are. Uh, is everybody... Happy with their choices? It looks like we've got Rook City, Wraith, Unity, Legacy, mm -hmm. and Fnatic. The randomizer gave me Wraith twice in a row, so I figured it must be. It's a sign. <laughs> yep. I moved Wraith up front because uh, her base power is most useful when she goes first. Aha. All right. All right well, here it is. Let's ready up. And you guys get to hear the amazing Silver Gulch music, which this was actually playing quite a bit because it was one of our demo environments at PAX. And so this would play quite a bit. And whenever Christopher heard it, he would like start dancing and come over and be like, it's Silver Gulch. And he would just start doing like a hoedown. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Onward. All right, let's take a look through what everybody's got. Oh, we can't because we've got closed hands. Oh, did we? Closed hands warm I, for I forgot to change the option. We can go back <laughs> if you want. Yeah, let's do that because I think on the stream it's, it's, it's instructive to... Make sure right. that people can see. All what right, we're I'll make a new game. <laughs> Thanks, John. It's now Mystery Comics number five. Oh, 
But I'd like to see Jeremy, his handlebar make shirts that had just handlebar on the front, and then your entire speech just printed on the back of the shirt. <laughs> Welcome to the handlebar <laughs> live stream. That's actually not a terrible idea. The t-shirt. <laughs> yes, oh. yeah. Well, and actually, so this is one of those things that we've been doing kind of just because while we've been doing it. But so, like, if you look at the main, you know, the Sentinels of the Multiverse, the logo, right? Then you've got Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game underneath it. And so then we <laughs> extended that and we made Sentinels of the Multiverse, the soundtrack. And then this week uh, for the, um, for the what's it called? The, the sheet music that Jean-Marc made, we made Sentinels of the Multiverse, the main theme. So this would have to be something like Sentinels of the Multiverse, the intro speech or something like that. All right. <laughs> so Rook City Wraith has got an impromptu invention. Always excellent. Smoke Bombs, Stun Bolt, and Trust Fund. Legacy is starting with Bolster Allies. Always awesome to get more cards. Motiv motivational Charge, Next Evolution, and Thuck. Unity has got two bots to start with. Excellent. Platform and Raptor Bot, as well as an Inspired Repair and a Brainstorm. So a, a good way to get even more cards, which is awesome. And then Fnatic has got Brutal Censure, Divine Sacrifice, Wrathful Retribution, and I can't quite make out this last card. Something with a Z. Zelos Offends? I don't know. Looks like a pretty good card, I think card, that's though. the proper pronunciation. Yeah, I think yeah. so, too. Zoolander Offer? Zoolander Ophalactinal Denominations. All right, and here we are, Rook City Raid. <laughs> yep, so probably just play Prompt to Invention. Always a good choice. Right? Shocking. Hey, look at that. Yeah, Sanvar, of course, Shocking. is pointing out that we also did have Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game, the board game way back when <laughs> the video game the t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast <Wow>. cereal <laughs> double impromptu invention is pretty that great is an to awesome start. way to start yeah i know right it's perfect all right now i can either let's see i can either do the stun bolt or just grappling hook away the entomb yeah i don't think anyone has a way to get rid of the entomb yeah so that'd be nice so i'll probably just do that Good idea. I scored that decision. <laughs> Man, wow, look at that. Perfect. You can use both of your Very nice. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Bramble. Let's see, those hit the lowest? Well, the problem with Brambles is that it also then yeah. neuters somebody for a turn. It's going to yeah, hit Yeah, but like, if it hits someone like Unity, it's not always that bad. That's true. Um, it's probably going to hit butts. Yeah, oh, right, okay. yeah, that's true. Yeah, Arboreal Phalanges um, isn't terrible. It only hits okay. one target. Yeah. Okay. Okay with that. Fine. The other one is a little more annoying because it hits everything. Legacy O's, the heroic way to do a good, if unbalanced, breakfast. <laughs> I'll probably just trash the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> She'll play a yeah, card if, if that comes into play. Yeah, the problem with the barrel is that it also plays another card at the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> I discovered that and in another she, game. And remember, whenever an environment target enters play, she plays a card. Hence, hence right. the yeah. difficulties of Advanced Akashmuta in Silver Gulch. I think we can... Uh... Actually, we didn't even look at this real quick. Her Advanced on, on oh, yeah. Chaos Bound Creator is reduced damage dealt to villain targets by one, which is always a bummer. But then on her flip side, at the end of the villain turn, Akashmuta deals the three non-villain targets with the highest HP three melee damage each. So a lot of extra damage flying around on that side. Yeah, I think she's easier on the flip side because she doesn't have that damage yeah, reduction. Yeah, the damage reduction is really rough. Bummer. But Legacy helps with that. Yes. Just, just slightly. I think, I think the first thing I'll do is just... Uh, Bolster everybody. I feel like getting bolstered. Hip, hip, Especially if it's by an ally. And I got <laughs> equipment. Hooray. So by the way, I just wanted to highlight this for a moment. You know we found water on Mars this week. And Yeah, uh, I saw that on the Google. Yes, thing. and uh, yeah. one of our awesome fans tweeted at us, uh, wa the water on Mars, of course, is overflow from Tempest using Flash Flood to put out the fire in the biosphere on Black Mars space. <laughs> yeah, that was that clever. Was good. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right. I saw, a pic I saw a picture of a Nestle rocket being prepared to go and get their water for bottling. Why am I... Oh. <laughs> That's probably the cheapest way they could get it. Yeah. 
Tempest isn't a mammal. That's not milk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's best not to think too deeply on this one, I feel. I, for some reason, I thought I was Unity, and I kept trying to play a card, and it wasn't working. You're always Unity. I know. <laughs> but it wasn't, That's why I'm Unity, and you're it not. It wasn't happening. And I was like, why is this not playing? First, first blood. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Brutal Censure, Divine Sacrifice. Eh, nothing to Final Dive. Wrath of Retribution be a waste at this point. Yep. Problem is, play. if I play Zealous Offense, I'm not going to do three damage this turn. You're... Not, you're definitely not going to do three damage this turn. Yeah, so well unless unless you hit some one of us. <laughs> but even then, I can't do. I can only do two damage this turn. Unless is there a booster? Yeah, in play? there's no boosters in play. You have plus one to damage though. Oh, yeah, I, I see. Yeah, galvanized. Yeah. galvanized. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna brutal censure, because that's two damage. So that's at least something. Okay with that. It's something. And then it's one percent of the victory condition for this match. Yep. Not sure if that that's sounds better or worse than just two damage. <laughs> oh, good. But now you've done another percent, so that's two percent on your turn. That's pretty. All good. right. So the bad thing has already begun. I see an explosives wagon. All right. See, luckily we have fanatic, and you can chastise or zealous offense the wagon. And keep it from hitting us, right? Uh, yes, I have zealous offense, so that is a thing. So that if can you be can done. manage to do enough damage, like if you can get your sword out or something, and keep zealous offense around, uh, you can keep the wagon around. Yep. Or you can keep the wagon from killing us, basically. That's the... Yeah, I don't, the problem is I don't have a second damage dealer right now, so. All right, so we get infrared IPs going again. You okay. Oh, man. Uh, destroy ongoings. Do we have any ongoings out right now? Um, no. No, no, actually, so. Okay. So we so, yeah, we could just have that and then not put any of the out yeah. this round. The primary oh, cool. eruption is pretty bad and it also plays the next card, so Yeah. Yep, yep. I agree. See, the thing about primeval eruption is I actually a lot of times will choose that card because it'll get more limbs out. And I like killing limbs because that's the most efficient way to kill a Kashmita. It's not always the best. I'm sure there will be plenty of limbs to it. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, um, I guess I could just I could bolster again. I would uh, be okay I, with that. Yeah. Or I could fuck. Fuck is gonna do what? Two? Three. There's plus one from the wagon. Oh, right, the wagon. That wagon we're dragging. I'll just fuck for now. Yeah, we can chip those away. Ooh, there's Ooh. inspiring presents. Wow. Like it. I'm I like inspired. The that. Love it. Oh, you got two of them. Too bad it's limited. <laughs> well, she likes to destroy ongoing, yeah. so. Yeah, discard fodder. Um, Is there an equipment I can destroy? I have none. Um, I have a spare eyepiece, so you can destroy that. Okay. I'll collect some more cards first. Thank you. You're I will welcome. make a raptor out of that eyepiece. Must be kind of frightening to have your your eyepiece spontaneously to change into a raptor, right? <laughs> yeah. I'd I'd be cool with that. <laughs> raptor bot's gonna do the same. No, raptor bot's gonna do two damage. 
plus. So I'm gonna hit the, this failing dudes with. Oh no, he's doing the same. Well, I'm gonna take it the failing dudes. I support that decision. All right. Yes. Well, I guess you could have final dove. Oh yeah. That thing. Oh well, I forgot about that. Well, all right. Um, let's see. What's the current boost? We have two. We have plus two to damage two. right now. Yes. Yep. Yes. All right. So. So you would be able to do three damage. You'll do four damage. She's gonna kill the ongoing card, though. Remember. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, I'll hold off on so that. Probably not and worth it. And then let's just do. And uh, that's gonna get killed too. I'll damage Divine the... Sacrifice will let you kill the Phalanges. Um, but why would I want that? If I kill the Phalanges after Divine Sacrificing it, it's going to hit me instead of her. Right? It doesn't hit anything. I think she hits herself. She hits herself, so only hit Divine Sacrifice. Oh, I only see. Only hit the Phalanges. Understood. Yeah, don't hit her. <laughs> I mean, you can hit a cash if you want, but it's probably a bad idea unless you really <laughs> want low hit points. Well, I have Wrathful Retribution. It's true. But this early, I think that that's maybe. Yeah. There's a ways to go. Oh, there we go. The bot is posting about our anniversary event. Wonderful. There's also someone opt lawyer with a fancy chat name and a zappy icon yeah speaking of which um silver leaf has expressed uh, interest in um contributing to the the music awesome cool what is her instrument of choice her voice what okay <laughs> Her voice. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> but it'll probably sound better than that. I was, say, I was expecting someone to be like, oh. My raptor bot is getting destroyed. Wah, wah. Yep. Not such a clever girl. By the way, if anybody here is at all interested in these types of games, I just recently played through Lego Jurassic Park, and it was glorious. Mm. Really? Yes, it was very fun. I'm a sucker for all of those. I have to play. I still have to play Lego Batman Three. Yeah, I have the Lord of the Rings one, but I haven't played it. Oh, and the Hobbit. Oh, Lord of the Rings is probably the best yeah, one. Yeah, Lord of the Rings one was good. I haven't played the Hobbit one though. That's right, because uh, I always thought they were like little kids games, and I heard that they're actually they're actually pretty funny. They are absolutely little kids games, but they are good <laughs> games, and that's the thing. Like a good game okay. doesn't it's it's not for any particular age. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think Except that's the field is bad. That's the carapace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually did yeah, love I, Batman I... 2. Just to answer, Sam Wise says he's about halfway through Batman 3. I didn't love... Well, Batman 2 I played right before playing Marvel, and I like Marvel way better. Which is just... Yeah, Marvel is pretty great. I like Marvel way better than DC just in the world, so there's that. I've actually... I'm boycotting the... Hobbit one because they're not making the third movie. Yes. And it's like, no, I know you are someday, so I'm just going to wait. <laughs> yeah, because that was the thing. Was they sort of Im they heavily implied, I don't know that they ever confirmed, but they heavily implied that they were going to release it as a chunk. Like, possibly yeah, as, as a DLC. DLC once the third movie came out, and then they didn't. And everyone was very Yeah, excited. Lego Dimensions is the new one now. Yeah, I... I bought in briefly to Infinity, Disney Infinity for my kids, and they kind of get it, and I don't get it at all. So, so does, <laughs> does Lego Dimension actually have the, like, the thing that, is that a real thing? Yes, you have to like, buy the little chunks and put them on the little thing, and then... Okay. They're, they're, does, it, does it have an actual game besides that, or do you need to do that? Well, it like, I think it comes with, um, like a couple of characters, and so like it comes with a decent amount of content. But as as with any of these games, you know what's it called? Um, uh, what's the what's the other one? The not Disney Infinity one. Skylanders. Skylanders. Yes. The first one. Right. The big yeah. one. Skylanders 
and Lego Dimensions and Disney Infinity, they're all the same, where it's like you have to actually have a piece of plastic sitting on another piece of plastic in order to unlock stuff in the game. What if you just have an iPad? I can't speak they... to that. I don't know how that works. All right, let's see what we got here. You currently have plus three to damage. Yeah, your base power is pretty powerful. Awesome. All right, so we will zealously offend the explosives wagon and nothing else. That's not what, what I meant to do. What are you doing? Wait a minute. That's not at all what I meant to do. <laughs> was this the plan? I missed this Sorry, plan. I, this was not the I plan. I the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's destroy all of us. Sorry. Let us all die. Yeah, that was I, I, that was an air ball. Sorry about that, guys. That this is exactly well, what the, this is literally exactly what the rewind button is for. It's for when you meant to do one thing but did something else because you're an idiot. <laughs> That's what this is. Why for. don't we take this opportunity to show the stream what zealous offense actually does? All right. So zealous offense is at the start of your turn. Select up to two non-character card targets. Those targets cannot deal damage until the start of your next turn. At the end of your turn, if you have not dealt at least three damage, this is why we keep talking about. Oh, should I put it out? I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Blah, blah. So, yes, yeah, so that's what uh, we're going to use this basically to keep the explosives wagon from killing everything and everybody all the time, uh, starting at the beginning of Fanatic's next turn. There we go. Yeah, that was for you, Silverleaf. You weren't actually even here when we first started talking about it, which is a bummer. You'll have to go back and watch the beginning of the stream again to hear our hilarious comedy about boring defense. Ah, uh, st stupid sustain the portal. Stop happening. I think Zell's Actually, is one of those cards where it's either amazing or it's useless. Yeah, totally. I have B-Bot, so do not press choose for me. All right, what are we doing? Hit Akash Buddha, and then we'll hit B-Bot. Okay. All right. And then B-Bot will destroy that and stop this from happening. Boop. Goodbye. The portal has not been sustained. <laughs> you just destroyed the portal. It's allergic to these. <laughs> I want to get some whiskey from the saloon. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to smoke bombs here to try and protect Unity's bots. I like it. Ooh. Yeah. Sure. Well, Rather than the idea. Right now. Yeah. And I always like to... I like to IPs first out of my two powers because it it can change what you want your second power to be if you know what's mm. coming. That is a good call. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, great! Two awesome cards. Ongoings. Yeah. So Earth Sacrifice destroys four hero ongoings, but then Rejuvenating yep. Entropy destroys four equipments. So. Yeah, I'm thinking the ongoings, right? Because we, we only have. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Loses else offense, but. Yeah. Uh, the entropy would heal the wagon for us, which would be nice, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad after all that build up for Celis offense. Yep. Well, maybe I'll get it. Well, it'll get, to work. it'll get to work once. And if we want, we can destroy the wagon while it's got the effect on it. That's true. Right? Uh, which might be a wise thing to do. Okay, so all my other cards are ongoing, so. Allies, bolster yourselves. I feel like I've got all the plus ones. All right, so I'm going to ping the wagon. Um, and then you can throw it at the carapace or something if you want. Okay. I guess it's going to be a little too low, but that's okay. It'll still be three. Or two. I don't have to hit the wagon. Um... But like if you if you think that you're gonna like if you 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 can put zealous offense on it and then well if I final dive the wagon when it's at two it'll get the damage will get boosted when I deal it out at the carapace right uh no no because it 
Yeah, you deal the damage after the destroy is all done. I like the plan of destroying the wagon while it can't hurt us. Yeah, yeah I'm, I I, so I'm gonna hit it so it'll be yeah. that'll be easier. Yep. Like they could go off at a very bad time. <laughs> uh, is there any equipment I can blow up? Uh, I think you can destroy my razor ordinance, I believe. Yeah, I have a spare. Okay. And I think Swift Bot yes. is gonna come out. Like Swift Bot so much. Yeah. It's one, of the, it's one of the things where like you, it's, it's like once you have it and then it disappears, you just feel so so powerless. All right, Raptor Bot and Platform Bot are doing excellent work. Excellent. All right. Yeah, we're we're on a good roll here. Yeah, I've been on a good roll in this setup. <laughs> Funny story. It usually doesn't stay that way. All right, <laughs> so let's confirm that. Explosive wagon was destroyed. Yay! Yeah, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. The bo the damage gets boosted. It's it's not boosted by explosive wagon. I don't know what you're talking about. It's boosted by legacy. Okay. He just meant that what it I was said boosted was, you said at all. That the explosive wagon was only going to be two, and the carapace had three, and therefore I wouldn't be able to kill it. And I said yes because there's damage boosts in play. I wasn't specifically okay, talking about the I, I wagon. I misunderstood because your heroes dealing damage are always getting boosted by legacy. So why would you think that it wouldn't be? I didn't. That's why I said it was. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's just like I don't know. You're the one who said you, if you final dive it, you won't be able to kill the carapace. That's what you said, not me. So finger point to Labra. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are fighting. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, here's our bonus card play. Gonna sacrifice them to the earth. Oh. And now God. we lose and equipment. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Goodbye, everything. Actually, that's yep. an okay time for that to happen because there's no limbs. Yeah, so the only thing that I would just want to caution us about is the fact that the environment only has one card left which means that if that gets played and we do a reshuffle and Lost in the Past is out, we just got to be careful because usually you don't have to worry about Lost in the Past, but Akash Buddha cycles environment a little bit faster than uh, some others. So yeah. Just keep that in mind. Well, I could um, just kill it if we're worried about that. Yeah, we could grappling hook it. I'm not too worried about I'm it. I'm not super worried about it. I just wanted to make sure that we remember because mm -hmm. the worst thing in the world would be like, oh, all of a sudden... We get lost in the past. So, like, so, okay, I think, so it has to be at the start of the environment turn, or not, the end of the environment turn. So the environment's going to play a card. It could, well, what is it? We can see what it is. It's Tyler Hayes. When uh, when he comes into play, Akash Buddha is going to play a card, and she could make the environment reshuffle, and then we lose at the end of the environment turn. So it could happen. Yeah. All right, so just kill just to be safe. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Okay. Works for me. And then you could discard Tyler Hayes so he doesn't come out. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't like him. Yeah. You are grappling hook the concept of being lost in time. <laughs> yeah, Great man. Grappling hook things that you can't not possibly imagine. <laughs> I know. It's, it's actually amazing what... <laughs> what uh, the Wraith can achieve with that grappling well, hook of hers. Well, she is a su super heroic person. That's well, true. She was guys all the time. You know that. He was I always thought what you can throw a punch was quite entertaining. You can hit a spaceship in the throat and... <laughs> doesn't want to do anything. Have you guys seen that thing from uh, Tom Scott about how much more effective superheroes could be? With teleportation? No. No. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of the stuff in comics and science fiction that just, like, the writing has to be reasonable. Like, if you think about oh. Star Trek, the teleporters, like, the transporter in Star Trek is a ridiculous weapon. Yeah. They never use it as a weapon, but it would, it's an unbelievable weapon. 
Like, oh, I'm just going to teleport your hu- or transport your hull out into space, yeah. and now you die. Or all sorts of foolishness. Okay. A 20, what, first century disruptive technology. Yes. I think... Well, let's see. I could flash... I could flash forge to look for construction pylon but i have so much stuff going on maybe i'll just uh brainstorm and hope to draw one nope but i'll do some damage does anyone else want to get hit for three lightning damage i don't believe so (laughs) jeremy does well, uh, he wants to use his good. um because now you could flash his wrathful retribution. Yeah, he'll I mean, get that. Yeah, I have that as an, a thing I could do at some point. You'll get there naturally. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to get out champion bot. Nice. Yeah, wow. What are they going to each do now this turn? What is the Raptor bot going to do? Like 10? 8? Platform bot does 5. And Raptor bot does 7. It would be 8. Oh, okay, a minus yeah, one. The minus 1. You might want to get rid of that stout barrel. Oh, right. It's going to play another. Um, all right. Let's see what we got here. See, I don't have a second... Yeah, but I, I often find myself playing Smite the Transgressor anyways, just for the two damage. Yeah. You don't have to get rid of it, but it is going to play an extra card. And actually, when it, actually when it plays a card, or on the regular card play, um, she's going to flip. So it won't cause her to play more cards after that. which is nice. So you could leave it. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I We are more than 50%. Yep. I so rarely actually get Aegis of Resurrection out. I just I want to get it out. And then you have and then it. And you have it. You might need that third guard house. Some people like to have the second guard house. Well, he's here anyway. Oh, so now... Now Tyler Hayes is going to kill an environment target and make her play a card. Yep. <laughs> well, so much for that. Uh, uh, see, I vote order, we, we hit, her first, hit her first in case she plays a carapace. Oh, yeah, that's smart. And then after that, the order probably doesn't matter. Um, right. Yeah, I lost little. smoke bombs. So. Yeah, because even if she does play another... One. I guess she might play a card that destroys environment cards. Oh, that's true. Oh, and no, that would stop Tyler Hayes. But nope, she just played a carapace. There you go. Alright. Fast forward. Lots of and bullets. here's where we can vote for Fnatic to take damage. <laughs> yes, that works for me. You have a large hand of cards. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yep. I guess all those inf- all those infrared eyepiece uses. Yep. I think you should play Trust and, and, and yeah. bolster allies and yeah. I think I'm gonna look for the third eye. There are three eyepieces, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. I think I'm gonna look for the third one because I think that's a really useful card. Combat stance, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, not a bad play. Yeah. Yeah, I think so I'm going to play. How that she's hitting us every turn. Yeah, I like the uh, counter damage ones because then there's always an advantage to getting hit. Yep. Although earlier <laughs> earlier t- t- today, uh, I had Raw pretty much kill himself because I played Flame Barrier with Osiris in play. And, yeah. Oh. 
That was not a smart move in retrospect. Yeah, you need to have also have Flesh of the Sun God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found that out very quickly. Uh, all right, let's see. Well, to disrupt the field is bad, so probably... Yeah, I think we'll be able to kill it. Well, the thing is, we don't want to kill the environment targets, because when we do, she plays cards. Yeah. All right. And I, I, don't, I don't know if we can stop them from getting destroyed. And Tomb is going to destroy the cactus. For sure. Well, if you can get a B. Nope, never mind. I don't have one. I might get one. I have two more in my deck, I think. I could actually look for one directly, so. Yeah, B-Bot for Entomb is probably the right idea. Because it's going to kill everything. All of our bots and stuff. All right. So first, Inspired Repair. And maybe I'll just get one. Nope, but I got a pylon. Yes. Step one. Pylon that pylon. Step one, pylon. Step two, Flash Forge. I like Cryobot, but I don't want to be doing indiscriminate damage, so I'm going to play Stealth Bot instead. And actually, yeah, when Tyler Hayes attacks B-Bot, we can have that destroy the ongoing. Mm -hmm. So we could, I mean, I could kill Tyler Hayes right now. <laughs> We wanted. Uh, we know there's a brambles on top, right? There is. Yes. Yeah, that's what we looked at with the yeah. infrared back piece. Uh, let's see. I always get her mixed up when she when she plays cards on this side. On this side, it's when an environment target dies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Would anybody I mean, we'll be interested in trading some damage for additional power usages? Because I do have Embolden. Uh, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I was gonna say Wraith I have no is belt. a decent choice. Yeah, I have no belt. Yeah, probably Wraith. All right, let's do that. Oh Instant. wait, wait, wait! I think Combat Stance is gonna screw that up actually. Oh cause... yeah, Combat Stance is gonna hit you back. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, darn it. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe give it to Legacy. But... I, I wouldn't actually hate getting hit back be no? because of my wrath retro retribution. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, let's do that. Okay. I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Alright, so then let's exercise. Then we can't take that demons. away from you. Uh do we want me to pre hit some Tyler Hayes here? Or what are we thinking? Or am I just going after Akash Vita? Uh well, well yeah, let me see. I'll so do more damage if I do it to Akash Vita. And well, that's really your goal, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Yeah, let's just let Tyler Hayes do his yeah. thing. Yeah, that's fine. Let him have his. He's fun. he's gonna do less damage than Entomb will. So. So he can hit Akash Buddha first. And then. B-Bot. So who is T Cyrus Hayes going after? He's going to go after my bots. Uh, <laughs> but then we'd have to... 
yeah. I don't want a Kaj Buddha to be playing more cards, so. Are we all okay to take two projectile damage? I am. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Oh yeah, combat stance. Bah! And then the cactus hits you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna hit the cactus. Mm. All right, if we want, we could we could have Tyler Hayes kill the cactus first. Or we could <laughs> open. You're gonna punch the cactus now. I'm fine with that. <laughs> bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> cactus the dare cactus, hit me. Like, the cactus like jumps at the wraith and the wraith pushes <laughs> <just> it back. <laughs> Giant cactus fist. So I guess nice. while there's a bit of a lull, like I said, everyone listening, I, I am playing on my laptop, so if you're hearing like fan noises or mouse noises, I'm sorry. I'm trying to mute when I'm not talking. But You've actually been doing an admirable job of that, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't have known, so nicely done. No more stealth bot. Platform bot can't deal damage. That is unacceptable. Poor platform bot. All right. Okay. Um. So yeah, you get to use two powers. So if you want to take advantage of that. Yeah. Let's see. But do I want? Let's see. Razor ordinance or the knives? Uh, yeah. That's so what we don't want to hit the environment, right? Is that what we're doing? Sorry. So we don't want to hit the environment, right? Yeah, we want to avoid okay. that. Um, I'm thinking I'll just do the ordinance then. Uh, so do I have search? No, I don't. All right. Um, yeah. I'll as long as the, the brambles is gonna die, as long as it has like five health. So. Okay. I Let's think it's just gonna get me as long Rock as we ping it a little bit. All right. Yeah. Well, I think rock slide. Yeah. I'd rather have one limb than five. <laughs> uh, then let's see. Is that five pup veggies a spam account? What is that? I haven't clicked what? on it yet. But you keep seeing this. That might be one of those spam accounts that people were talking about earlier. Yeah. He so keeps saying, oh my goodness, watch this. And it's like some random link. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like. That sounds like clickbait. Yeah. All right, how do I. So if you click on it, you can click on it and probably like ban it. Oh, look at that. Boom. Message deleted. You hit the wraith for four damage, and the wraith hits you for four damage. Nice. <laughs> this uh. seems inefficient. <laughs> Get me down. Jeremy said he was fine with it because there's more damage being dealt. Get me down to like three and I'll wrath for retribution this turn. So do I need to bring the brambles down at all? Uh, as long as the brambles are below five and I'll be able to do that in my turn. All right, I will deal it to the brambles. Sorry people, I dropped the hammer on him. Okay, then I will probably, I mean, I was gonna do area damage, but. Yeah, you said it had to be below five, though. Yeah, and I kind of indicated that I would do that, but... Yeah, I think he's... Yeah. Oh. That's, okay. That's okay. I thought you meant it had to be lower than five by the time it comes to your turn. By the time it comes to the environment turn. If you want Cyrus oh, yeah, to shoot Cyrus and Tyler are going to take him out. It now is, so go ahead. You can use your power.
I have a feeling some bots are going to be destroyed. Um, so I could hastily augment Fnatic to do yep. a lot, lot of damage. Yep. Sounds good. Love it. <laughs> More damage, Fnatic's on board. Ah, if only I could play two cards this turn. You can't play any cards this turn. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I've got Absolution. Whoops. What happened there? There we go. I've got Absolution. If only I could play all my cards on someone else's That'd turn. That would be sweet. I will exercise Are you complaining about doing demons. 10 damage? I'm just, I'm thinking ahead for when my turn is. Like, not just what's happening right now. 10 damage is, is awesome. I love it. Can I blow up someone's equipment? Um, I yeah, do have a spare razor or Oh, yeah, actually, I actually have a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I kind of want to keep volatile parts because I think some of my bots are going to blow up. And platform bot cannot deal damage! I feel like I could do better with Wrath of, Wrath of Retribution with a little bit more hurt on myself. I am the lowest hero right now, yes? Yes, okay. Um, I'll just get Absolution out. What? Yeah, Divine Focus would be a great play. Ah. Yeah, because you have so many cards. You're going to do way more damage with your base power than with Absolution. Also. Yeah. Yes, I was thinking about planning ahead for next turn. So I can get Spike the Transgressor out. Or not get it out, but play it. Oh. Uh, so if I get Absolution out now, and then Smite the Transgressor next turn, and then expect that I'll be down to like eight or six, hopefully, and then I can Wrath of Retribution on a third turn. She should be dead before then. Yeah. I think next turn is your Wrathful Retribution to end the game. All right. Especially if you play Divine Focus. I don't think you have as many turns left as you're thinking. Alright, well in that case, let's start by getting rid of the stuff I know for a fact I'm not going to use. Oh, wagon time! And stupid allies <laughs> of the earth. Sweet. Well, he kills the brambles for us, right? Yep. Oh. Um, we can hit Cryobot first. I don't think he'll actually kill. Tyler Hayes, though. So actually, if you hit Crabot and then hit the Wraith, it'll probably kill Tyler Hayes. It definitely will. Okay. Actually, this, this is doing a pile of damage. Yep. Good job, Crabot. <laughs> Everybody loves Crabot. Don't be sad, Crabot. You're right. Everybody loves you. The chat. Top card. A couple of people from the chat who are a little bit late. Uh, our special guest this evening is Jake Hastings. He is one of our illustrious beta testers. I'm illustrious. Cool. He is. You are illustrious. <laughs> it's a rock slide. Then if we hit the wraith, she will yeah. kill Tyler Hayes. Yeah. And prevent him from shooting the wagon. Yeah, and the rest of us. But I, th I think more importantly, the wagon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the wagon would essentially, with all the, well, yeah, it wouldn't end the game, yep. but it would, it would put a lot of hurt on us. All right. Uh... 
We also love our mega computer testers. You should check the mega computer. There's new stuff on there today, I think. Right, Jean-Marc? Uh, there will be soon. Oh, will be soon. Don't get your hopes up too quick. <laughs> I had to add right. in some This explosive Romo wagon related. is going Stuff to blow up. Actually, no, it isn't. Yet. All right. Uh, if we hit the Wraith, the explosive wagon will not blow up. But if we hit Cryobot, it will. <laughs> so we should probably hit the Wraith. This combat stance is coming in very handy. <laughs> Oh, but then there's another living rock slide. I don't think it's gonna matter. Well, actually, Akash Buddha might die from this before we do. We're lucky. Uh, the Wraith first, and then Cryobot, who is then going to kill the wagon. I think. See, this is exactly what uh, I think Paul... This is why I didn't play Cryobot <laughs> before. See, this, but this is what I was going to say is this is exactly what Paul's whole thing about Akash Buta in Silver Gulch is, which is that so much stuff starts flying around and back and forth in this environment because yeah. of the way that the uh, everything sort of works itself out here. And this is exactly what it would feel like if you were battling Akash Buta at oh, Silver yeah. Gulch. Like, she would be throwing this the environment... This is totally going to work out. This is going to work out for us. Because the wagon's gonna blow up, and then we have the wagon hit Akash Buddha first. You're right. I am not gonna get as many turns as I thought. <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you get no more you turns. You're exactly right about that. There Yay. it is. Just under an hour. I think I think we would have all died if uh, if we hadn't gotten her down quick enough. Yep. So. Oh man, another spam bot. What you know what it is? I bet it's because I signed up for that night bot thing, and yeah, I bet that's where you signed up for a spam bot. Yep. <laughs> Unacceptable. All right, excellent work, team. I just realized I was muted for the last like three minutes. Oh, <laughs> that happened. All right. Sometimes I'm like going off on a a rant and I'm muted <laughs> like I have to read my rant in the meeting <laughs> I'm not as upset as I was before <laughs> All right, and more. more games more games I'm good I'll have to uh, step out at, in about half an hour okay so, uh, I'll start a new game we can take over your